Today I'll be reviewing the Beard and the Bees. Grandpa Bex. Two to five players, ages eight plus and 30 minutes. If you open the game up, you find the Beards and the Bees instruction booklet and a bunch of comb shaped cards. The point of the game is to get the least amount of points. There's different types of cards. There is a beer card, the flower card, the 1B card, the 3B card, and the blink. To set up, you make a deck pile. And you put this in the middle. For two to three players, you give nine cards, and for four to five players, you give eight cards. The point of the game, obviously, is to get the least amount of scores, but to do that, you need to get rid of all your cards. So, to start, you flip over a card and put it by the head of the bee, and everyone takes a turn. On your turn, you could do only in the center, if you're up to that, only empty combs could go. Also, to put down a, a, a comb, you have to match the colors. So, blue and blue matches. And a blue, blue, blue matches. A honey colored is a any color. Any color could connect to it. But of course, only empty ones could connect to the queen bee. Also, your piece could only connect to a two-sided part. Three-sided, four-sided, five-sided, six-sided. If you connect to three or above-sided, you get an extra turn. So, if it's like this, or if it's like that. So if I had something that could go in there, like this, something I go, go like that, that's one turn, everyone gets one turn. But since I put it in a three spot, I get another turn after that. So I can go another card and put this card over there. Here's what these type of cards do. Special cards. How it works is, in the middle of the game, let's say you have a whole big board, right? And what these cards do is, in the middle of the game, if I put down this card, this flower, if I could actually fit it down, the yellow's matching to another yellow spot, everyone has, every other player has to pick one card. That's what this special card does. This one, there's no special thing about it. It's just really easy to put down because it's a honey. It's any. It's very easy to put down in three spot. This one, after you put it down, you get to give one person from the deck a card. And this special one has to connect to a honey, but not the center honey. So if there was on the board something that has a honey, like this, this is a honey. You can't put it down right now because this is the one spot. But if it was something like that, which is a two spot, you could put down this beer 
and you get to take one of your cards from your hand and give it to another player. Once one player go has zero cards in their hand, everyone counts up their cards. A blank is worth five points. A drone, which is the 1B, a drone is worth 10 points. This is worth 15 points. Oh, oops, sorry. No. Actually, it's even a little bit different. This is 5 points. Not 10 points. This is 5 points. This is a 5 point category, which is only one type of card. Blank. It's the only type that's 5 points. This is a 10 points category. Flower, drone, 3 bees. And 15 points is the beer. So if I had the beer, that, and that, this is 10, this is 5, and this is 15. So I have, right here, 30 points. Now remember, the point of the game is to get zero points. So you would play this game three rounds. So what one part is, is one round is when one player runs out of cards. It's one round. So after three rounds, you see how much points the players have. Whoever has the lowest amount of points wins. That is how you play Bears and the Bees by Graham Pavek. Two to five players, eight plus, and 30 minutes. Another thing, though, you can add into the game is added bonuses if you're an advanced player. Hopefully, I'll add that maybe in another video or not. But basically, here's the basics. You connect three cards if you add this in. You connect three cards, you earn one bonus play, right? You can add it in, connect four cards or two bonus plays. You can add in, connect five cards, earn three bonus plays. You can add, connect six cards, instant win, discard your hand. You gotta add that, you also gotta add stings. If you connect a worker B with two cards, you force one card to be drawn, right? And if you do, actually, actually the worker bees is this. They're really called worker bees, not three bees. Basically, you can add other stuff to the game. Okay. That is how you play bears and bees. Thank you, and have a good idea. Uh, day.